ahead, the U.S. economy remains sluggish and Spain remains in the red. Later in the show. Welcome to Three Times Square this Wednesday from Reuters World Headquarters in New York. Investors waiting for this year's version of Ben Bernanke at Jackson Hole. Many holding out hope the Fed chairman will use his speech Friday to announce more stimulus for the economy. Our daily digit today helping maintain the economic status quo. It's 1.7 percent, the second reading of the second quarter GDP, up slightly and right in line with expectations also below the two-plus percent range needed to hold the unemployment rate steady. Nothing status quo in New Orleans, which is getting pounded by Hurricane Isaac, as are other sections of the Gulf of Mexico coast. The Category 1 storm threatening to flood towns in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. The levees built after Hurricane Katrina hit the Crescent City are holding. The U.S. Department of Energy estimates only 12 percent of the Gulf Coast refining capacity has gone offline. Our power player of the day, as good as gold. It's, it's hedge fund manager John Paulson, who soothed nervous investors on a Bank of America call by saying he's still betting on gold despite recent disappointing returns. Paulson, who first made, it, made a name for himself back in 2007 by successfully betting against the subprime mortgage market, has had his funds hit hard of late. Citigroup's private bank pulled out just last week. A day after saying its earnings would top forecasts, Heinz delivered the mustard, or the ketchup. The ketchup maker benefiting from growth in emerging markets and improving results in the U.S. and Australia. Sales, however, missed expectations. While jeweler Zale forecast its first annual profit in years. Sales are growing at its U.S. chains, hoping it posts a narrower loss in its fiscal fourth quarter. Checking the shares right now. Heinz is up just down about 1%, and Zale is up just under 2%. Other stocks to watch today include Yelp. Nearly 53 million shares are free to be traded as a post-IPO lockup expires. And Zynga after another high-profile departure. The social games company's chief creative officer leaving to start his own firm. Zynga's chief operating officer resigned three weeks ago. One way for Spaniards to work out their economic frustrations, food fight! <laughs> Thousands of locals in the Spanish town of Buñol took to the streets today for their beloved Tomatina Festival, in which folks hurl truckloads of tomatoes at each other. It actually has nothing to do with Spain's fiscal woes, but must feel pretty darn good nonetheless. Held annually on the last Wednesday in August, the festival is said to date back to the 1940s when two local kids got in a food fight at a vegetable stand. Of course, tomatoes were a lot cheaper back then. That's the latest from 3 Times Square this Wednesday. You can follow us on Twitter at Reuters Insider and check out our Reuters YouTube channel at Reuters.com slash Reuters TV. I'm Lisa Bernhard. This is Reuters.